And we gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all. Amen. As we gather here this morning as God's family with confidence, we call upon our Heavenly Father, knowing of his mercy and of his compassion. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the life, and the truth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be a visible sign of your love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you will come again in all your glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, for he lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The way of the just is smooth. The path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgment, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our soul. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O oh Lord, you mete out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O oh Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cried out in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth writhes and cries out in her pain, so were we in your presence, O Lord. We conceived and writhed in pain, giving birth to winds, salvation we have not achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. But your dead shall live, their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust, for your dew is a dew of light, and the land of shades gives birth. The word of the Lord. Responsorial song. From the heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. You, O Lord, abide forever, and your name through all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for it is time to pity her. For her stones are dear to your servants, and her dust moves them to pity. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let, the, let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth. To hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, 
and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, Come to me, all you labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourself. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I invite you to be seated. I don't know about you, but I feel like we've heard this before. Actually, if you think about it, we've heard it about four times in the last 10 days, 12 days. And so I don't know more I can say to you. But ultimately, the challenge I think is. Maybe we're being repetitive or being church putting this before us again and again is to ask ourselves, are we willing to truly take on that yoke of Christ? Or are we expecting Christ to do it all for us? Are we willing to take on his yoke and learn from him? To be meek and humble of heart? To find that rest with him? Or are we begging him for him to do the load? Asking him and trying to get him to do everything for us and make all the difference in our lives? Jesus tells us today very clearly that it takes both of us to work together. God on our side with us and for us, we're able to do many things, but he doesn't do it alone. He needs our support and our encouragement and our work as well. So are we truly willing to take on the burden of Christ? Are we truly finding ourselves being meek and humble of heart to inspire others to do the same? And I invite you to stand. Together now, let we make known our needs and our desires to our loving and compassionate Father. Let's pray for our church, for our Holy Father, our bishops, and all the women and men who serve in the name of Jesus Christ. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let's pray for lasting peace and justice throughout our world, to end the war and into terrorism, racism. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let's pray that we will truly have the courage to try our best to be meek and humble of heart to truly work with Christ and doing through our words, deeds, and actions the means to inspire others to give praise to our God. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for all those who are sick, hospitalized, and homebound, and all the doctors, nurses, and family members entrusted with their care. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Pray for an end to the pandemic, that doctors and researchers will be able to find a cure and a vaccine. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, pray for all those who have died. We think of those who will die today and those who will die alone. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let's take a moment and silently pray for our own intentions. And we pray for all our intentions, including the intentions for Carmen Herrera and AJ and the Yvette Trias. For them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Good and gracious God, we make known to our needs and our desires. Those we speak aloud, those we speak in the silence of our hearts. We ask that you grant them, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And I invite you to be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we offer, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept our sacrifice in your hands, for the praise and glory of your name, for our good and good of all the O God, who in the offerings presented here, provide for the twofold needs of human nature, 
nourishing us with food, and renewing us with your sacraments. And grant, we pray, that sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, and all the redeemed give praise to you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together now, let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days. <clears throat> that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other a sign of that peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should have to have the Lord, let me say the word of my gospel shall be here. And I invite you to be seated. Just a quick reminder of our new procedures. We will begin over here in the first. First, uh, ask that you sanitize your hands, come up to receive communion, extending your hands as far as possible. Coming over here to this spot, remove your mask, consume the hose, and return back to your seat that way. We'll go in the back row, to the third row, to the second row, to the first row, coming up this way. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ.
And let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Master this morning has come to attend. May we go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.